Uh, my name is Michael Karnchen Alpricorn, and I am the CEO and co founder of Skillshare. I'm 29 years old. I grew up in Newport News, Virginia. And I moved to New York about four years ago um, because I really wanted to start a company. And New York was a great place to start a company that could disrupt and change the entire industry. Skillshare is a marketplace and community where people can teach other people in their community skills that they have. So the way it works is if you want to teach a class, you just go to Skillshare.com, you would post the class that you're teaching. Students that are interested in taking that class will you know, buy a ticket and enroll, and then they just show up. Yeah, I have a pretty strong point of view on education and what that is. Um, and I think one of the biggest problems with education is that it's no longer about learning. And what we mean by that, education is very top-down driven, where learning is very bottom-up. Um, education is kind of what someone tells you to do, whereas learning is kind of, you know, what you want to learn and what you're passionate about, what you're curious about. And, and for us, you know, our goal and our mission is just reunite learning back with education. And so literally the first thing we need to do is we need to take like five classes, blow those out, ask every granular question we can that's confusing and answer them and make decisions. Yeah, so some of the classes that are available on Skillshare, they really range. You could take very, very specific skill based classes like programming. Um, and then there's the far end of the spectrum around fun classes that you can take. Um, so for example, I'm taking a class this afternoon on you know, making fried chicken. I think everyone has a skill that they possess. Everyone knows a little bit more about a topic than the next. You know, the biggest opportunity we have in this world is to get people to share that with other people. What we're trying to do is create a new model um, where the teacher acts more of a facilitator, there's not a lot of lecturing, there's more doing, more failing. Looking good. F should be the new way. We should encourage people to fail. We should encourage people to experiment and create and collaborate. And uh, we can really redefine teaching and learning in these new models. The beauty behind the internet, it, it, it allows a lot of bottom-up disruption to happen in the world. It allows us to really, you know, create new models of learning at scale. Success for me is executing all the things we need to execute on time. And then the goal for it is people just using it. If we have 1, 10, 100 million people learning every single day, think about all the things and all the knowledge and skills that are getting passed from one person to the other. And think about all the things you're going to create in the world. And think about all the people that are going to find the true passion. Our goal is to bring education back to its true root and its true goal, which is learning and create a new future and a new world where it always will belong to the curious. When something has never been done before, if there's no template for something, how do you bring out something new? How do you develop something new? That's probably the most challenging thing, to put your arms around the concept when there's no precedent for it. You can't stay where you are. As successful as the first RX was, something completely new, something completely different, inventing this new segment of the luxury market, we couldn't stay there. We had to move forward. When you thought about hybrid back in 2003, no one thought about luxury. So this was a very bold, brave thing for Lexus to do, to introduce hybrid technology in a Lexus vehicle and on an SUV, something completely unconventional. But we couldn't stay there either. Even though that was further than anyone had ever gone before, we had to continue to go forward. 2013 RX is the next level of RX. What's particularly unique about this reinvention of the RX is that we're bringing in a whole new group of customers. Customers who are asking for the RX for its sporty styling and for its heightened handling. It doesn't drive like any RX I've ever experienced before. And it is the bold new face of Lexus. It's a lot of fun. As soon as you look at the front end of the Lexus RX F Sport, you know that you're dealing with a different kind of RX than we had before. Lexus continues to reinvent itself, constantly challenging ourselves. What can we do different? What can we do better? What new concept can we provide our customer that's going to not just meet expectations, but go beyond expectations? That's the challenge that we work with every day.